Moreover, this talented actress has enchanted audiences with her performances across film and theater, with notable roles in celebrated movies like Marathon Man and the unforgettable show The Holiday, she has become a fixture in cinema. Her ability to bring depth and authenticity to each character has earned her critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Significant achievements include winning prestigious awards, showcasing not just her skill, but also her dedication to the craft. Each project she undertakes reflects her passion and commitment, making her a significant figure in entertainment history. As she continues to inspire others through her work, her journey remains a compelling tale of talent and perseverance. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Martha Keller, a name that has graced the silver screen with her unforgettable performances. If you're a movie buff, you've probably seen her work. Maybe not in her first film, but certainly in one that left a lasting impression. Now, imagine this she started young, stepping into the world of acting with a passion that only grew with each role. Her career was like a journey, each character a new destination, and she navigated them all with grace. But if we had to pick one film that defined her career, it would be a tough call. Each role was a testament to her talent, but one might say that this particular movie showcased her versatility and depth like no other. Now I bet you're curious about her most cherished memory. It was a moment on set a personal connection she made, a laugh shared with a fellow actor, or perhaps a moment of triumph. It was a memory that felt like a step forward, a moment that made her proud of where she was in her career. And you, our viewers, have a chance to share your stories and memories. Maybe you met her, or perhaps you have a favorite scene that brings back fond memories. We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. As we dive deeper, there are many stories to tell, some funny, some shocking, and some sad. Keep watching this video, and you'll see why Martha Keller was so much more than just an actress. The actress, Martha Keller, had a remarkable early life. Born on May 27, 1880, in Tuscumbia, Alabama, she faced many challenges due to her blindness and deafness. Despite these difficulties, she was able to attend Radcliffe College, where she studied English literature and became proficient in sign language. Her family was supportive of her education, with her mother providing her with a manual alphabet to learn the sounds of words. Keller's path to success was influenced by several key individuals. Her teacher, Anne Sullivan, taught her how to communicate through touch and sign language. Sullivan also introduced her to the works of Helen Keller, who inspired Keller to become an advocate for the disabled. Another significant influence was her husband, Arthur Keller, who supported her career as an actress and writer. Together they co-authored several books and articles about their experiences. Keller's early exposure to the craft of acting came through her performances in stage productions. She began working as a child actor at the age of seven and continued to act throughout her life. One of her most notable roles was in the film, The World's Greatest Athlete, where she portrayed the deaf and mute athlete Helen Wills Reed. This film marked a turning point in Keller's career and helped raise awareness of the challenges faced by deaf people. Furthermore, Marta Keller is an actress known for her powerful performances in both film and theater. She gained attention in the 1970s for her roles in notable movies and international productions. Her ability to portray strong and complex characters made her stand out during her time. The actress also took part in several high-profile projects, which showcased her talent and dedication to the craft. Her influence can still be seen in the industry today, inspiring new generations of actors. This classic has left a significant mark on cinema and continues to be celebrated for her work. When the actress was a young girl, she attended a performance of Romeo and Juliet at the Zurich Opera House. The experience left a lasting impression on her, igniting a passion for the art. She was captivated by the emotions conveyed by the actors and the power of storytelling through theater. This pivotal moment inspired her to pursue a career in acting, and she dedicated herself to honing her craft. The actress's determination and love for the art form led her to become the celebrated performer she is today. In 2002, the actress served as a member of the Camarador jury 
at the 55th Cannes International Film Festival. She portrayed Lillian in Bobby Deerfield, and was fluent in French, German, Italian, and English. Additionally, she appeared in Black Sunday and Marathon Man in a rare twist. All the first choices for the film's leads, including the actress, were cast in the roles they were envisioned for, according to producer Robert Evans. The actress, Marta Keller, faced early challenges in her career, including financial struggles and industry skepticism. Despite these obstacles, she displayed remarkable resilience and found creative solutions to overcome them. Born in Basel, Switzerland, on January 28, 1945, she initially studied ballet, but transitioned to acting after a skiing accident at age 16. Her earliest film appearances were in Funeral in Berlin and the German film Wilder writer GmbH. Transition financial struggles and skepticism facing financial struggles and industry skepticism. The actress persevered and worked in Berlin at the Schiller Theater and the Berliner Ensemble. These experiences shaped her determination and resilience, leading her to overcome the hurdles she encountered in the early stages of her career. Despite the challenges, she continued to pursue her passion for acting and eventually achieved recognition for her talent and dedication. Transition Resilience and Creative Solutions the actress's resilience and determination enabled her to navigate the obstacles she faced. She demonstrated creativity in finding solutions to the challenges, ultimately carving out a successful career in the film industry. Her ability to overcome financial struggles and industry skepticism serves as an inspiration to aspiring artists, highlighting the importance of perseverance and creative problem solving in pursuing one's dreams. Transition legacy of resilience Martha Keller's early struggles and eventual success exemplify the power of resilience and determination in the face of adversity. Her journey serves as a testament to the human spirit's capacity to overcome challenges and achieve greatness, inspiring others to persevere in the pursuit of their aspirations. Moreover, her role in Black Sunday influenced a later scene in Kill Bill Vol. 1 where Daryl Hannah's character also poses as a nurse to carry out a plan. In another notable film, the actress played Elsa Opel in Marathon Man. Director John Schlesinger aimed to cast Al Pacino, Julie Christie, and Sir Laurence Olivier. Pacino expressed a desire to work only with Christie, calling her the best actress. However, producer Robert Evans, who had previously mocked Pacino, ultimately chose Dustin Hoffman for the lead instead. Christie turned down the role, allowing the actress to step in. Schlesinger only secured Olivier from his dream cast, who received an Oscar nomination for his performance. Additionally, in Black Sunday, the actress plays Dahlia as she finishes a recorded message intended for the citizens of the U.S. She uses the greeting Shalom Aleichem. This is a Jewish expression which is unexpected since her character is Muslim and would typically use as Salamu Alaikum. Both phrases express a wish for peace. Moreover, the turning point for the actress came with her role in the 1977 film Marathon Man. This performance showcased her talent and captured the attention of audiences and critics alike. Her portrayal of a complex character led to significant recognition, establishing her as a noteworthy presence in cinema. In 1975, her part in the TV series The Magician also contributed to her rising popularity. Colleagues praised her ability to bring depth to her roles, making her a standout in an ensemble cast. Critics noted that her charm and skill set her apart, making her performances memorable. Next, the involvement in the hours brought her accolades in the early 2000s, where she appeared alongside esteemed actors. This project highlighted her ability to adapt and thrive in various genres, earning her a spot among respected talents. Peer recognition grew as she continued to impress audiences in both film and theater. Furthermore, her stage work in productions across Europe demonstrated her commitment to the craft. Critics highlighted her ability to connect with the audience, often leaving a lasting impression long after the curtain fell. 
Collaborators acknowledged her hard work and passion, which inspired many younger actors. Thus, the actress's career has been marked by significant moments that reflect her dedication to her art and her ability to leave an impression through countless roles. Her journey showcases how talent, hard work, and the right opportunities can lead to lasting recognition in the entertainment industry. Mark Keller portrayed Lillian in the film Bobby Deerfield. In 1977, Newsweek criticized a scene in the movie, describing it as embarrassing. The actress also received the French Critics Award for her stage performance as Sheila in the play A Day in the Death of Joe Egg in 1970. Additionally, she won the Grand Prix de la Critique for her stage direction of Francis Pollock's Dialogue des Carmeliti in 1999. Firstly, Marth Keller's artistic vision and process are deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. This classic has a unique approach to her work, often drawing from her own life to inform her performances. She has a keen ability to infuse her characters with depth and authenticity, making her style stand out. The actress's creative process involves a thoughtful exploration of her character's emotions and motivations, allowing her to bring a genuine and relatable presence to the screen. This classic's work is a reflection of her rich life experiences, and her dedication to her craft shines through in every performance. After her ballet days were over due to a skiing accident, the actress turned to acting, finding her feet at the Schiller Theater and the Berliner Ensemble. It was there she honed her craft, preparing for her big break. That break came when she was cast as Elsa Opel in the film Marathon Man, a role that took her to both New York City and Los Angeles. There, she filmed scenes that would become memorable, including one at the Doheny Library on the University of Southern California campus, where she met Dustin Hoffman in a pivotal scene. Coincidentally, Hoffman himself had been on that campus before, in the movie The Graduate. The actress also had a personal life that was as interesting as her career. She shares a son, Alexander, born in 1972 with her partner Philippe de Broca. This bond is a testament to her life outside the spotlight, a life that, like her career, was rich and varied. Her life and career, though different in many ways, share a common thread resilient. Despite the setbacks, the actress continued to pursue her dreams, whether on stage or on screen. Her journey is a reminder that life's challenges can be overcome and that every step forward, no matter how small, is a step in the right direction. Moreover, the actress has left a significant mark on film and television through her unique performances and choices in roles. Her ability to portray strong, complex characters has inspired many young actors to take on challenging parts that push boundaries. Industry experts often highlight how her performances have set new standards for emotional depth, encouraging others to explore more nuanced storytelling techniques. Critics note that her work in various films and shows has influenced trends in casting, leading to greater representation of women in powerful roles. This shift has allowed for richer narratives as more filmmakers seek to tell stories that reflect diverse experiences. Those inspired by her work often speak of her passion and dedication, noting that she paved the way for future generations to pursue their dreams in acting. Furthermore, her international appeal has helped bridge cultural gaps in cinema, encouraging collaboration across borders. The actress has shown that authentic storytelling can resonate with audiences regardless of language or background prompting a wave of international productions that celebrate various cultures and perspectives. As she continues to inspire, her legacy can be seen in the new wave of talent emerging in the industry, all eager to follow in her footsteps. Art Keller, a celebrated actress, made a significant splash in the film industry when she captained the Camera Jury at the prestigious 47th Cannes International Film Festival in 1994 showcasing her discerning taste in cinema. Her substitution for Dominique Sanda in Alexandre de Barocca's film, following George C. Scott's complaint about Sanda's accent, marked a noteworthy moment in her career. In the classic tale of Bobby Deerfield, Martha starred alongside Al Pacino as Lillian, 
securing a notable second billing alongside any Dupere. This role solidified her place in the pantheon of memorable screen moments, delivering a performance that resonated with audiences of her time. Additionally, Martha Keller is known for her passion for philanthropy. She has been involved in various charitable causes, including supporting organizations that focus on the arts, education, and healthcare. This commitment to giving back and making a positive impact on society is a reflection of her personal values and interests. Transition in the world of cinema, Marth Keller made a significant impact, both as an actress and as a jury president. At the 69th Cannes International Film Festival in 2016, Martha Keller had the honor of being the president of the UN Certain Regard Jury. This prestigious position showcased her expertise and recognition in the industry. One of Keller's notable roles was as Elsa Opel in the film Marathon Man. In this classic, she shared the screen with legendary actors such as Dustin Hoffman and Laurence Olivier. This marked the beginning of a string of movies for Keller where she collaborated with renowned actors who would become icons themselves. For instance, she appeared opposite Robert Shaw in Black Sunday, Bruce Dern in Black Sunday, Al Pacino in Bobby Deerfield, William Holden in Fedora, and George C. Scott in The Formula, which also featured Marlon Brando, although they did not sh share any scenes. Interestingly, John Schlesinger initially had Charlotte Rampling in mind for the role of Elsa in Marathon Man, but Keller's talent and presence impressed him enough to cast her instead. During this period, Keller starred in a series of high-profile films, including Black Sunday, Bobby Deerfield, and Fedora. However, despite her promising Hollywood career, these movies failed to click with audiences, resulting in a short-lived stint in the industry. Marth Keller's contributions to the film world, both on and off the screen, are noteworthy. Her talent and collaborations with legendary actors have left a mark on the history of cinema. Furthermore, Martha Keller has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry through her remarkable performances in various films and shows. Her legacy as an actress is truly inspiring, and she continues to contribute to the industry by sharing her wisdom and experience with aspiring professionals. For those looking to follow in her footsteps, the actress advises staying true to to oneself, honing one's craft, and always being open to learning and growing. Her future contributions will undoubtedly continue to shape and inspire the next generation of performers. In the film Bobby Deerfield, Marth Keller portrayed the character of Lillian. To prepare for this role, the actress followed a rigorous routine. She would wake up at 600 a.m. every morning and start her day with a meal of green lettuce. She would then engage in various physical activities, such as swimming in thermal baths, drinking carrot juice, hiking on mountain trails, and playing tennis for an hour. Sometimes, she would even play a second game of tennis until 900 p.m. This intense routine resulted in Keller losing 10 pounds and being unable to fit into her American wardrobe. Hash, 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 hash. Martha Keller, and Al Pacino's relationship during the time and after the making of Bobby Deerfield, Martha Keller and Al Pacino, the lead stars of the film, were involved in a personal relationship. Their connection extended beyond the screen, adding an extra layer of depth to their on-screen chemistry. Hash 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 hash. Martha Keller in Black Sunday and marathon man Martha Keller also appeared in the film Black Sunday where she played the character Dahlia. This film, produced by Robert Evans, showcased Keller's talent and versatility. Interestingly, Keller and Fritz Weaver, who also appeared in Black Sunday, worked together again in another Robert Evans production, Marathon Man. These are some interesting facts about Martha Keller and her roles in Bobby Deerfield, Black Sunday and Marathon Man. Martha Keller's journey in the entertainment industry spans over five decades marked by her unwavering passion and innovative spirit. Born in 1945, the actress started her career in the 1960s, quickly gaining recognition for her exceptional talent. Throughout her career, Keller has showcased her versatility in various film genres, from drama to thriller, and even comedy. She has worked with renowned directors such as Alfred Hitchcock, 
and has left an indelible mark in cinema history. In the 1970s, Keller's portrayal of a conflicted pianist in the film Marathon Man showcased her ability to delve deep into complex characters. This classic film resonates with audiences even today, a testament to Keller's enduring impact on the entertainment industry. Keller's talent is not limited to the big screen. She has also made significant contributions to television and theater, further solidifying her status as a captivating and versatile actress. In the late 1980s, Keller took a brief hiatus from acting to focus on directing and producing. This shift in focus showcased her innovative spirit and her willingness to take risks, further cementing her legacy in the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, Keller has remained passionate about her craft, constantly pushing boundaries and challenging herself. Her perseverance and creativity continue to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers around the world. In the end, Martha Keller's journey is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her enduring impact on the entertainment industry serves as a reminder that with passion and innovation, anyone can leave a lasting mark on the world. Martha Keller's work has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. What are your thoughts on the actress's performances? Share your insights in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.